Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the farm. It's about 8 o'clock, Sunday morning. All stuffed up this morning. We had cigars and whiskey in the shop last night. My buddy Robin from Millionaire Farmer on our joint channel, Smoking Oak. So if you haven't watched that, we got into a whole thing on... Uh, well, we had a bit of a tangent. We had, well, we had multiple tangents, but the main theme there was about farming and climate change. So I had to dive into that one. But I'm just heading into the shop here now. Looks like it's chicken there, right? Which is good, because I need eggs. There we go. All set. I'm cooking some Lincolnshire sausage. A bit of eggs, some hash browns for breakfast this morning. We got a whole slew of kids over. They slept over, all my nieces and nephews slept over there last night. Well, half of them. Anyway, so get them fed up right for the morning. All right, well, all the kids are all fed up and had their breakfast and back home to where they belong. Now I just gotta get supplies for the day. We're heading to the barn. We're gonna get the uh, barn all prepped for lambing season here. So I got all those portable panels. And the plan is to, uh, well, they're already kind of shaped up into the pens that I want, but I got some eye bolts to attach to the kick plate on the wall so that we can kind of secure those panels and minimize any shenanigans. So Charlotte here is going to be my helper today. And there's something in this bag. I asked, I asked Carmen to pick me up these, uh, yeah, that's just perfect, these eye bolts here. And she said there's something else in the bag that I'm allowed to use, but I have to make sure it gets put away in her drawer in the shop. I don't know what it is, but, uh, oh, look at that. Oh boy, I bet you that wasn't cheap. This is, uh, well, I guess you'd put that in your impact, your your impact, uh, quarter inch impact, and for those hard to reach places. The only thing I notice is it has a Phillips, has a Phillips in it right now. Hopefully that can come out and, uh, put a Robertson in because I generally don't run too much for Phillips head screws because they have a way of stripping that's uh, special like nothing else so I'm hoping in the tip there that's uh, that's a quick release and a guy can quickly drop a Robertson number two in there anyways I'm not going to be the one to wreck this therefore I'm not even going to be the one to open it I got to figure out which one of these drawers she says is hers she says I've taken over this space which wasn't me, wasn't me, wasn't me, wasn't me, wasn't me, wasn't me. Bottle of wine? That definitely wasn't me, wasn't me. Yeah, that was probably me. So <laughs> I don't know how much of this mess is mine, how much of this mess is hers, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that she can have that drawer right there. I'm just kidding, of course, we share all the drawers. It's a, it's a shared catastrophe, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna open that and be the first one to scratch it or break it or Whatever, it looks expensive. You can already kind of see on this side what, what we got going on, right? There's going to be a pen every, whatever these are, like seven feet or something like that. So I'm just going to do four pens down each side. So that side's already configured. I just got to put the eye bolts in on the back wall. This side is not really, conf it's just kind of a shit show right now, but uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna split this one in half. This one we had, uh, it was a double wide, I guess. And the reason for that is we had the two, the two little heifers in here when we first brought them home and they needed a little bit more room to frolic than just seven feet by seven feet. So I'm gonna have to get in there with a pitchfork and pull that hay or pull that straw away from the back wall, put one dead center in there and then shrink this up a little bit. But it is a beautiful day. There's a little, slight little breeze, but it was nice enough I was able to get the uh, back door open on the barn, get some extra light in here. I didn't want to open the front door because, well, that'll just bring the wind right in and then that wouldn't be as much fun. You can hear the sheep, boy, they're sure beller and I maybe should, uh, maybe should run a bucket of grain out there. Give them, give them a little snack -a roo so I can get some peace and quiet while we're in here. Which help Charlotte's going to be She's sitting there drinking her ginger ale, reading a book. But whatever, at least she's not in the house whining and pouting and crying about uh, things that don't matter. Are you stuck up there? Yeah. I thought you were the king of the castle. I'm stuck up here. Are you a dirty rascal? 
You're the king of the castle? No. You're just stuck? Yeah. All right. You want dad to help you or gravity to help you? What? You want dad to help you or gravity to help you? Gravity. You want gravity? Okay, dad's gonna put his phone away and then you can just jump off into dad's arms, okay? And you're safe. <laughs> Was that fun? Yeah? But you were scared, weren't you? Yeah. You got a belly full of ginger ale, you burping now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get some panels built. So I decided to go with this 3 8 eye lag bolt. I probably could have got away with something considerably lighter duty, but uh, I really didn't, you know, this is the whole thing that's gonna anchor all these panels into the wall. And if there's any shenanigans in any one of these pens, I certainly didn't want the anchor to be the weak point. So if they come apart, <clears throat> they won't be coming apart here. Are you getting it screwed in there? Good job. Ah. Ah. Nice earmuffs, by the way. That's tough to do with them big old mitts on, isn't it? Here. Get it back in there. There you go. Yep, you got her. Oh. We're in, just like that. And then turn it around and around. Just like that. Good job. What is that noise? Is it raining? Holy man, it is. It's raining. Like it's raining a lot. So we've had, we've had really warm weather for the last while. A lot of the, I mean, it looks pretty white, but you can see, like, you look over here, right? Like, lots of stuff is melting. So our whole yard is a skating rink right now. And now it's raining. Awesome. I like it. I just love the snow. You love the snow? You love the rain? Oh, man. You're ready to go to the rodeo. Get into some fights at the beer gardens with dad. Hey? What are you doing? Skating. You're skating? Just come skate with me. Come skate with you? Do you know do you know what this ice is made out of? No. It's made out of cow pee. Yeah. Yeah. It's all <laughs> melted. Look at all that. Well, mostly horse pee actually, but skating Woo -hoo. don't fall all right well I think I've got everything pretty well set up as it's gonna be for the barn so I've got these pens all rigged up Got my little bit of a chain for a latch on the gate, so if anybody comes in, I can just run them into one of those little lambing jugs and they'll be set. So there's four on this side, and then if for whatever reason, out of the, I think 23 that we're lambing out, <clears throat> if we have more than that going at once, well then, I've got these panels on this side. I got them just folded flat against the wall here, you can see, but, so if this is a big, wide open common area, but if I need more pens, I can just open that. Open that. Put a panel across the front. Hey, presto, I got another lamin jacket. So I got four up against, well, technically five on this wall that a guy can use. So we're in good shape as far as accommodations. Now, guys, just got to get water buckets and uh, you know ear tags and bands and all that vitamins and everything a guy's gonna need just for their first set of days there Should probably get that we only got really a month three weeks maybe until our first possible earliest possible date 
but uh, I like to be I like to be ahead of the game. That's for sure. Certainly don't want to have lambs on the ground and then scrambling. I could do without this rain though, because well, I mean, if we're gonna have a wet spring, whatever. We haven't had we haven't had water for a couple of years, but uh, it is not, they're in they're inside. They're gonna be all right, but certainly don't want to be turning them loose into you know. Oh, can you see it there? Yeah, I don't want to be turning them loose into a swimming pool like that. Because that wouldn't be a good time. That's a recipe for pneumonia. But there again, I certainly don't want to be lambing at 40 below either. We've done that 40, 40 some below. Not even when we had the barn. All we had was, you can kind of see that, that little wee lambing shelter off in the bottom corner there. That's, that's what we started with. What a shit show that was. But... <laughs> Well, on that note, I think I'll close the barn door here, head in the house for a bit of lunch. So I hope you have a fantastic afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow.